Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to quickly add Firebase login to your Angular app. Let's go. Let's go to Firebase and then go to our console. Okay, now we add the project. And I'm going to call this speed run. And continue. We don't need analytics. And create. Once you hit continue, we're going to create a web app. This name's not necessary. But we'll call it speed run again and click register. Okay, we need to keep this bit of code here, just the Firebase config, and drop it into a text editor. We'll come back to this. Click continue to console. And the only thing we have to do is add authentication. Click get started and email password and enable, then save. Once we have our code working, we'll see our signed up users show up on this screen. Now let's create the Angular app. Type checking, no. Routing, yes. And CSS. Let's go into our folder and we're gonna add Angular Fire. Choose the uh, Firebase app that you just created. And now we're gonna add Angular Material. Now we're going to create four pages, a home page, a sign up page, a login, and a private dashboard so that we know that the login works. ng generate component, home, sign up, login, dashboard. We're also going to need a service and a guard, the authentication service and a guard that keeps people from being able to enter the dashboard without access. Angular generate service. In our services folder, it'll create it, called off. And then Angular generate guard services off. And we want to choose can activate. OK, let's open a new tab, Angular serve open. So let's open our code editor. And let's remove all this boilerplate. So we go to source app app component.html all we're going to keep is the very last router outlet there we go okay now let's add routing so source app app routing module.ts we're going to import all of the pages we just created as well as the auth guard and now we're just going to say what our routes are so we have a path to the home component to the login sign up and dashboard. And dashboard itself has can activate with the auth guard. Now we have a Firebase app and an Angular app, but they can't talk to each other. So let's take this Firebase variable and go down to environments and environment.ts and add it in. So we're going to refer to it as Firebase. It. And now we need to add the environment to appmodule.ts. While we're here, let's add Angular Fire as well as Material, and we're going to have a couple other features so we can use forms. Okay, we add those to our imports, and we should be ready. Okay, at this point, we can use Firebase. So let's go to Home and add our code. So the home page is really easy. We just add Angular Fire. We're also going to change the constructor so we can use Angular Fire authentication. And there will be just one function we have to write, the logout. So let's add some buttons to get to every page. OK. So now I have a sign up button, a login, and a dashboard. Let's make that pretty. There we go. And I want to know if we're logged in or not right now. OK, this is going to tell us if we are or aren't logged in based on Angular Fire authentication. Let's go one more step. And if we are logged in, then we can see a logout button. OK, let's write the sign up. OK, in sign up, we're going to use a couple of services here. We're going to use the authentication service. We're going to use routing. We're going to build forms. And we have Angular Fire all. We're going to track two variables. We're building our sign up form, and then 
When we sign up, if there's any errors, we show it through this variable. Now we're going to get access to all those libraries we imported. So we add that into the constructor. So we have auth service, router, and Angular Fire. And then on init, we create our sign up form with a display name, an email, and a password. And when the user clicks submit or sign up, we'll call the sign up function. And since we haven't written the auth service, let's go do that. Okay, so we go to services auth service, and we're going to bring in two things, Angular Fire and Routing. As a trick, I want to add one variable. You can always just check right here to see if the user's logged in. And to control that variable, we just go to the constructor and we make a subscription. Whenever the user's authentication state changes, we now have access to it. Okay, all we need is two other functions, sign up, login. So on sign up, we're calling Angular's create user with email and password. If it succeeds, then we immediately send a verification email. And if it doesn't, we log that. And for login, we just pass in the email and password. OK, that was the auth service. Let's do the auth guard. We need to add router. We're going to add Angular Fire as well. And instead of always returning true, this time we're going to return a promise. So if there is a user, return true. Otherwise, always route back home. And we do need a constructor now. So now we have access to AF off. OK, now we're ready to finish up the sign up. So let's put in a button to go back home. And then the form itself is really simple. So on submit, call a sign up function that we wrote right here. And bring in the full name, email, password. And if there's an error message, this is normally hidden. Print it out here. Nothing more. Let's test it. Oh, actually, let's make it pretty. A little pretty. There we go. You don't have to have a valid email. And short password. Now we're in the dashboard. Now before we get the dashboard to work, let's go look back at Firebase. And refresh. And there I am, the new user. OK, let's get dashboard to point back to home. There we are. Dashboard works. And it says the user's logged in. And let's click log out. Excellent. And now we can't go back to the dashboard. So the last piece to do is write the login functions. Okay, so we're going to import router authentication or authentication, the forms so we can have login form, and Angular Fire authentication. And just like the sign up page, we're going to track two variables, our form and if there's any error messages. And we want to have access to the libraries that we just imported. So we build our login form with just an email and a password. And then when the user actually clicks submit, they'll go to our login user function here. So as long as the form is valid, then we go ahead and go to our authentication service, to the function we just wrote for login user passing in email and password. Then, if result is null, this is the one tricky thing for Firebase. Result null means it worked. Then we're going to navigate the user to the dashboard. Otherwise, it'll say is valid is false, and we can just log that and show the error. So let's see the login page as we build it. We'll have a button back to home, and almost identical to the sign up page. We just have a form that on submit calls login user. It asks for an email and a password, and it'll show an error message. Let's center that on screen and take a look. OK, email r at r.com. Let's see if this works. There we go. We're logged in. We can log back out, and we can't access dashboard. <laughs> That's how easy and fast it is to put Firebase authentication into your app. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed. There you go. We're good. There you go.